Hey guys, Fox here. Um, it's been about a little over a year since I've been on YouTube and thus it's been a little over a year since I did a game room tour. I figured I would do a game room tour every year just to show you guys how my game room has grown, changed, and all that. So, uh, enough chat, let's get to this. Alright guys. Here it is. Hopefully it's not too bright with the windows. I need proper lighting. Just a quick overview of all my stuff. And then we'll get down to the nitty gritty here. Of everything. So let's start off with these shelves that I built and put installed. Um, I put all my boxed collector's editions, limited editions, whatever editions up on this shelf up here. Uh, it saves a lot of space, especially on my bookshelves. Uh, as you can see, there's just part of the box uh, from the uh, Songbird limited edition for Bioshock Infinite. Got our Tunnel Inco Quagga, Hyperdimension Neptunia, Epic Mickey, Ragnarok Odyssey, Persona 4 Golden, uh, let's see here, Yee's 7, Yee's Oath of Falgana, Mario 25th Anniversary, Dust Smiles, Trails in the Sky, Yee's 1 and 2 Chronicles, Kirby 20th Anniversary, The Last Story, Skyward Sword, Agris War 2, Agris War 0, First Agris War, Tomb Raider, and of course Catherine. Um, down here I have my Bioshock Infinite. Let's try not to get so much glare here, guys. Uh, the Game Informer magazine uh, co cover. I really like this. Ordered that. I got the Bioshock 1, of the Little Sister and Big Daddy. And then I have this Bioshock Infinite poster signed by Ken Levine. Uh, Draper and I always forget his name. I apologize, but you guys all know. The voice actors and Ken Levine signed that poster. Man Cave. Final Fantasy 25th anniversary poster. I really like that. I got that at PAX Prime last year. Legend of Zelda Link's history since 1987. Granted, this is a little old now because it doesn't have the Skyward Sword Link on it, but still love it. Up here I have my boxes for systems on this shelf that I put up. PS3, PlayStation. Uh, that one actually has a PlayStation in it. The Wii has the Wii in it. We have the 3DS, the Superboy, PSP 1000, Vita, PSP Go, PSP 3000. DSi Excel, Wii U, 360, and the Model 1 Genesis. Over here we got a uh, kid from Bastion. Uh, that one's signed by the artist. My little Grandia wall scroll. And the limited print of the Tomb Raider poster that you could get at PAX Prime last year. Over here I have Sorry guys, hopefully it's not too dark. Uh, but that's the lithograph of the Feek Theater, uh, signed by Ken Levine. Let's see it down there in the corner. Got the Skyhook. And then over here we got the PS2 games. Zoom in so you guys can read these. Not a lot of special or really rare games I have on the PS2, but uh, of course I'm a huge RPG nut, so there's going to be mostly RPGs. And a little Star Trek, too. I enjoy Star Trek, too. Persona 4 is probably my favorite on the system. And that's Radiata Stories. I still want to get a copy of uh, 
uh, Suikoden 5 or Suikoden, however you pronounce it. Still looking for that, and I'm looking for Wild Arms 4 and 5 also. Alright, and down here, it's going to get a little more difficult as I got crap in the way. I got a couple long boxes, a couple boxes edition. And then here we go for the PS1 games. Sorry if my hand's shaky. This is an awkward angle that I'm holding this at. As I got a couch in the way here. Uh, these PS1 games are in no particular order as I was going through them the other day. I didn't feel like uh, putting them back in alphabetical order is usually what I put them in. It's kind of hard to see with the glare, guys. Sorry about that. Okay, down here uh, are my Xbox One games. Very small collection. I know I need to work on it, and it's probably not going to be very expensive to work on. Uh, but I'll get through some of them. And then down here I got the little Skylanders. Uh, here's my most pathetic collection, my TurboGrafx-16. I am having a hell of a time trying to find any TurboGrafx-16 games, so... Uh, hopefully, over the summer, I'll be able to hunt some down. And I got a few Atari titles back there. And then uh, here is my little controller basket. It's got charging cords, extra batteries, all the current controllers that I'm using. I even got a little Kirby 20th anniversary uh, stress ball. And then these... Uh, Ugh. There we go. In these drawers, this is the Xbox drawer, so it's got Xbox controllers, 360, and uh, so an original Xbox in there. Ugh. A little tight with that giant Xbox controller. In here, I have Turbo Graphics hookups and a crap ton of uh, Game Boy games. Just to show you a few here. Got some Pokemons. Just some random. A lot of it is crap, honestly. Just stuff I just find in, uh, you know, like Goodwill. And stuff like that. Except for these Pokemon ones. Those are all worth a fair amount. Bomberman. I got Bonks. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Castlevania Adventure. Just to name a few. And there's some. Uh, advanced ones in here but not a lot so there's that nothing fancy in the Game Boy department I'd like to have Game Boy games boxed preferably and then these are all handheld cases tons of them <laughs> throw them all in there alright up next we'll go over to this shelf I have my here, my Bastion, another Bastion little poster I got from PAX 2011, I believe. There's a uh, little postcard of a kid. Um, Super Famicom box games. I'm really liking these. They're really cheap to get, and they come complete. And I just like the way they look. They look like VHS uh, tapes, but. Uh, they're fun, and I usually get stuff, except for uh, Afaria. I usually get uh, games that I can play, you know, that not, don't involve a lot of reading. Um, so we got Last Story for the Wii Japanese. Back here we have a, um, a little postcard print for Arkrise Fantasia, probably one of my favorite games on the Wii. A little hidden gem. Grandy on the Saturn. Uh, back there is Legend of Gaia for the PlayStation 4 Japanese. My Persona 3 Junpei hat. My very few boxed Super Nintendo, Zelda, Breath of Fire, Legend of Gaia. Sonic figurines. I got all these uh, Skylander guys from the first Skylanders. Down here we have... Sega Saturn, 
Figure Rally, Center Bomb Ran, Dragon Force, Detention USA, Bubble Bobble. Uh, a sports game that I got when I bought the system, Albert Odyssey. My Lone Master System game, which I'm trying to get into. Wonder Boy. A couple loose uh, Genesis games. Key one there would be uh, Bloodlines. I like that game a lot. Steel Empire, Sonic 2, War of the Beast. That's a Beauty and the Beast game. It's not bad. Pure Solar, Fantasy Star 2, Mickey Mania, Lightning Force, Drag uh, Jurassic Park. That's a fun one. Echo and Aladdin. And oh, let's go over here to Dreamcast. Not very many. My Sega collection is very lacking. I'm trying to boost it up, but you know, it's whatever I can find. Considering a lot of these Sega games cost quite a bit of money, especially Saturn. Uh, down here I have Game Boy Advanced, my boxed advanced games. Viera, I love that game. Drill Dozer, Mario Tennis, Metroid Fusion, Monster Rancher, Pokemon Ruby, uh, Super Mario Advance, and WarriorWare. 3DS titles, a lot of good ones. This system is really impressing me a lot. I'm currently quite addicted to Fire Emblem. I'm hoping to finish that soon, and it's making me want to pick up the other Fire Emblem games because that's the first one I've played. Uh, this is the DSi XL in this little case. Here's some DS games. Radiant Historia, one of the best games on the system. And down here. Lots of Pokemon. Sorry guys, I, I get into Pokemon. I don't collect like plushes or anything like that, but I really love the games. A lot of fun. And then down here, I gotta get near the floor here. Sorry guys. Loose Super Nintendo. A lot of good stuff. Super Metroid. Earth Fire 2, Castlevania 4, Final Fantasy 3. There's a box for a controller. I got some very few N64 games. Let me pull them out here. Diddy Kong, Harvest Moon, Super Mario 64, Star Fox 64, and Banjo Kazooie. I would like to boost that up too, but I don't go out of my way to buy them. If I find them at thrift stores and stuff, like all these I found at thrift stores, which are some key titles for the system, but. I'd like to get quite a few more. Um, over here we got my box of Nintendo, not a whole lot. Strider, Back Sanadu, Mylon Secret Castle, Hard Game, Jackal, one of my favorites. And then I got loose NES titles. Hopefully you can see them. It's kind of dark and I want to pull this out. My one boxed 64 game, of course it's sports, but uh, it came with a system I've bought at a thrift store, which I'll show you guys later. Okay, that's it for that side. Now my entertainment system here is a 52 inch Samsung. Uh, it's Fairly old, it's about six years old, but it still works fine. I plan on upgrading it probably a little later. Of course, a plant. Gotta keep that natural air freshener going. Clock 360. As you can see, I have a thumb drive in it. All my save files go on the thumb drive. I've been through too many of these systems where they crash and burnt and lost all my save files. So I always put my save files on the thumb drive now. Direct TV box, original PS3, still working great, fully backwards compatible, I love it. Yamaha preamp, Wii U down there, and just a few animes and TV shows. Wii U Pro Controller and the gamepad. Uh, Gears of War poster, Bioshock 2 art prints, lamp. 
Uh, the limited Columbia statue. Uh, these have started been popping up more, but they're still, I think, limited to a thousand of them. We got the uh, Songbird Cage Key, a mini Murder of Crows bottle. Bioshock 2 poster back here. I'm thinking about moving it. Art book for Bioshock Infinite. The smaller version of that that came with the Ultimate Songbird Edition. Box Bunny Splicer Mask with uh, Subject Omega in the back of it. The Mind and Revolt book. Just a couple uh, Mario Donkey Kong minifigures. I've been finding those at Target and other toy stores. I think they're kind of awesome. Here in the case, this is pretty much Bioshock, Bioshock 2, all this in here. It's a little cluttered. I'm still trying to figure out how I want to organize all these figures in this case, so uh, if you don't like it, I don't blame you because I probably don't either. Um, we've got all kinds of guys in there. I'm sure you guys know what most of them are. That's the uh, Big Daddy from the Collector's Edition. Um, next one, this is going to be the infinite shelf that's why it's kind of bare we got the songbird boys of silence and elizabeth she's standing on the wall over there because she just falls over i need to find uh stands for my figures so i make sure they don't fall over and i can move them around more easily down here is some random stuff we got cast crash we got rose from legend of dragoon she's sitting on her ass because she can't stand either uh like but she doesn't have peg holes on the bottom of her feet, so she can't even put, put on a figure stand unless I get one of those ones that wrap around her waist. Lara from the new Tomb Raider. We've got Cosmos uh, from the first game. Noriko from Heavenly Sword. Dart from Legend of Dragoon. And back there is my limited Andrew Ryan statue. I love that thing probably one of my prized statues in here um, he would be on the top shelf but there just wasn't enough room for it really down here we got Normandy from Mass Effect Wreck-It Route Fix-It Felix Epic Mickey uh, Asa from one of my favorite animes shuffle there she is again and a little Luigi close this up now over here is where I do my classic gaming on this little 20 inch Samsung TV with awesome sound. I love this thing. I've had it for a good, I don't know, 12 years. It's great. Oh, also Laura Croft again. Um, and down here every once in a while I just pull out a system and hook it up. We got the Model 1 Genesis, uh, Dreamcast Sports Edition, Saturn, original Game Boy, PSP 3000, and N-Gage. Right here we got both the PS2s and the PS1, uh, PSP 1000, PSP Go. Down here it's my new N64. I found the uh, the blue one, ice blue or whatever. Turbo Graphics, Xbox, Game Boy Pocket, Game Boy Advance. Right down here we got two NESs. Unfortunately, both their 72-pin connectors are uh, not working so well. They're not grabbing the games very tightly anymore. So uh, I ordered a couple new connectors and I'll just throw them in there. GameCube with uh, Game Boy Player, Super Nintendo, there's a PSP case. Over here we got the PS1, which is what I've been playing my PS1 uh, titles on lately. And in the shelves here I got more controllers. The Sony controller drawer, just a bunch of dual shocks. Sega, Dreamcast, Genesis, Saturn, good stuff. Nintendo, this was chock full. A bunch of N64, GameCube, some Wii stuff, original Nintendo, Super Nintendo, all you name it. Over here, that's the sub. On top of it, would covering is a bastion, like handkerchief type bandana thing. A little tote bag, a component cable for the PSP because every time I want to play the PSP I just go ahead and throw it on the uh, big screen. Some PlayStation 1 demo discs, a Nerf ball, hot damn. Some little uh, Dishonored Elder Scrolls little speakers I got from PAX. 
cork board with a bunch of freaking buttons I got from the packs as I went to. Uh, let's see, we got some postcards for Square Enix with Star Ocean, Last Hope. I think that's Birth by Sleep, for Kingdom Hearts, and Final Fantasy XIII. There's my uh, Star Trek poster that I got from seeing the uh, first night uh, Star Trek Into Darkness came out. It goes in the dark, it's pretty cool. Not to get so much glare here. Chrono Trigger poster. Now up in the shelving area, I got a huge heavy ass uh, container full of cords for all these systems. I have them all wrapped up and labeled, so it's not as hard as you think to pull them out. Uh, but that thing getting down is pretty heavy. Got the DeLorean right there. Back to feature two. There's an extra Xbox Dreamcast. Another GameCube with a Game Boy Player. M64. A couple more PS1s. My Nintendo shelving unit. In that top shelf I have, I think, an NES Max and a Zapper in there. And there's a few other low title games in that bottom shelf. And I can even pull them out. Uh, a 360. That guy still works. He's my backup. And up there, I just have a bunch of boxes from figures and some other things up there. Nothing really all that important. Poster tube full of my extra posters. Now over here is some more Bioshock stuff. I love Bioshock. Bioshock 1 is my favorite game of all time. We got the Eve Hypo. Uh, we've got, this is the faceplate for Bioshock 1. Uh, back there you got Bioshock 2 Collector's Edition along with the limited special edition strategy guide. I have an extra vinyl for the Bioshock 1 soundtrack. Bioshock 1 limited edition for PC along with Bioshock 2 for PC. And then down here on this shelf, there's a sack boy. All these, some of them you can't see because they're not uh, very well labeled. Except for this one. Soul Hackers. These are all soundtracks. Some of them are hard to see. Sorry about that, guys. And they're mostly the ones that come with limited editions and what's not. Here we got Nino Kuni Steelbook and my. PS3 games, trying to get a good angle here, not get so much glare for you. A lot of good stuff on the PS3. We got some niche uh, RPG titles on the system too. Here I got some bandanas for uh, PlayStation All Stars. I got three different ones. I didn't get the Big Daddy one. I was upset. I really wanted the Big Daddy one. Couldn't find one. Couldn't find anybody who would trade them. Oh well. <laughs> Down here are Xbox 360. There's a few that I just picked up. My very first Bioshock game right here. <laughs> There's Ultimate Rapture Edition Infinite. Down here is some pixel art that I was working on. You guys can tell me what you think. It was kind of fun putting them together. I got Chrono, Link, Ness, Sonic, Mario, and 8-Bit Link. Down here are the PSP titles. Love the PSP. This thing has so many great RPGs on it. It's crazy. This is one I want to start very soon. Hexes Force. And my very few Vita games. I'll be picking up a couple more this summer. Down here in the corner are some cards. Uh, you know, like playing cards, tarot cards from whatever, you know, pre-order bonuses and stuff like that. Vita AR cards, Vita AR cards, which I never opened. Here's my Vita, I got that, uh, little skin mount on it it's very helpful it turns the the bumpers into triggers it's very comfortable in your hands um, pre-order for Pokemon Y 
Wii games. There's Arc Rise, one of my hidden gems on the system. I haven't really got to play Pandora's Tower yet. It's on the pocket. I'll put it on my summer challenge or whatever. GameCube games. Uh, inside that Twilight Princess case is also the uh, collector's disc for Zelda that has Zelda 1, 2, Link to the Past, and some other games on it. Uh, my few Wii U games, there aren't a lot out there that I care about yet. A, uh, what is that? Club Nintendo year end reward. A bunch of pins in a box. Kind of neat. Unopened pack of Kid Icarus cards. I don't have the game. Uh, game Boy Player startup disc. And down here are my books, the magazines. I roll Historia Infinite, Bioshock Infinite Limited Edition, Neo Kuni, Hard Book, Persona 4, the original strategy guide. There's a bunch more. Lots of strategy guides. Pokemon, some other smaller stuff. Grandia 1 and 2, right there. And magazines, EGM, Nintendo Power, a couple official PlayStation, At Gamer, which is Best Buy's magazine, Games TM, which is a UK magazine, I really like that one, and a crap ton of Game Informers, and then Retro Gamer magazine, a lot of people like that one. Alright guys, there we have it, that's the Game Room Tour of 2013. Hope you guys enjoyed this little tour. Uh, it's running quite long, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this. So uh, thanks everybody for supporting me for over the last year. I hope to uh, give you just as many good videos as I did last year. Hopefully better, let's be honest. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Oh, forgot the art books guys. I wanna show you these to you real quick. There's my breaking the mold. For Bioshock 1. This is the Bioshock 1 uh, art book. One of my prized possessions. These things are highly sought after and thus hold quite the value. Final Fantasy 10, 10 2 art book. Etrian Odyssey art book. Xenoblade Chronicles mini art book. Uh, Batman Arkham City, which I got free at PAX. Demon Souls, Catherine, and then here's a little book, the Bioshock Rapture book. This is a cool, this is how a book about how Rapture was built, so it's just a prequel to the first game. Anyways guys, thanks for watching.